Hello friends, today in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to configure a Cisco router for internet access. Cisco router are manageable devices and you have to configure it as per your network design and requirement. In this video tutorial, my network design is very simple. Here you can see I have home ISP router and it's connected to internet. Now I'm going to install and configure my Cisco ISR 4331 router with my home ISP router. Then I connect my Cisco router to a basic unmanaged home switch where multiple PCs are already connected and they will get the access to internet via Cisco router. So let's start it. Steps are very simple. In first step, I will assign a host name to my Cisco router and then I configure a enable secret to stop the access of unauthorized person. You can skip these steps if you want. In next step, I will configure basic IP addresses on Cisco router both interfaces, one toward my ISP router and second interface that connect to my LAN network. After that, I will create a DHCP server for my LAN network and then configure the default route of the router. In next step, I have to configure NAT inside and NAT outside on router interfaces and then create an access list to permit the LAN network for internet. And finally, apply our load command on router uplink port and save the setting. So let's log into the router and start the configuration. Here you can see I log into my Cisco router via PuTTY and as first step, I will assign host name to my router. For that, I go to global config mode with command config t and enter and then I type host name and here I can give any name to my router I will type ISR4331 router and enter and here you can see before the router name is router that is by default and after that the router host name is changed to ISR4331 router next I will configure enable secret for that, I use command enable secret and here I have to give the password or secret of my router. I will write Cisco at the rate 123 and enter. Now I configure host name and enable secret on my router. So let's start the real configuration. First, I connect my gig 0 slash 0 slash 0 port to my home ISP router and now I log into my Cisco router 0 slash 0 slash 0 port for IP configuration. For that, I type interface gig 0 slash 0 slash 0 enter IP address DHCP and enter and exit. Now my Cisco router will receive the IP from my home ISP router via DHCP. Wait couple of seconds and here you can see I receive 192.168.1.133 IP via DHCP on my gig 0 slash 0 slash 0 port. So the gateway should be 1.1. .1. So let's ping the gateway. For that, I type command do ping 192.168.1.1 and enter. So here you can see we can successfully ping the home ISP router. Now it's time to assign the IP address to my other interface of Cisco router. I'm going to connect my gig 0 slash 0 slash 1 interface of Cisco router to my home LAN switch. So I log into interface gig 0 slash 0 slash 1 enter and to assign the IP address to this interface I type IP address 192.168.100.1 and it's a class C IP address so subnet is 255.255.255.0 and enter and exit. So we successfully assigned the IP addresses to the both interface of the router. So now the next step is we want to configure the DHCP server for our LAN network. For that I type IP DHCP pool and here we have to give the name of the DHCP pool. I can give LAN because this pool for my LAN network. Enter and next command is network. We have to define the network that is 192.168.0. 100.0 and it's a class C ring so subnet is 255.255.255.0 and enter. Next we have to give the default gateway for that I use command default gateway 
100.100.100.1. This is the same IP address of our LAN interface port and enter. And next DNS server 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 I give the Google DNS and enter and exit. Now here we successfully create the DHCP pool and next I have to provide the default route. For that I use command IP root 0.0.0.0 mean any IP address 0.0.0.0 mean any subnet and it will go to 192.168.1.1 This is my ISP router IP address or ISP gateway and enter. So any traffic generated from any IP address and from any subnet will be root or forwarded to my ISP router gateway that is 192.168.1.1 and now it's time to change the net inside and net outside on router both interfaces so first I go to gig 0 slash 0 slash 0 interface for that I type interface gig 0 slash 0 slash 0 and enter as we know this interface connect to my ISP router so I type IP net outside and enter and exit that's it from this interface and for other interface I type interface gig 0 slash 0 slash 1 this interface is connected to my inside network or my LAN network so for that I type IP net inside and enter and exit so we successfully configure the IP net inside and outside also and now it's time to create the access list for that I type command IP access list standard and here we have to give the name of the access list and keep remember this is case sensitive you can give any name I will type local and L capital enter now here I have to permit the network or deny the network who will go to internet I will write permit 192.168.100.0 this is my LAN network I want to permit and next I have to type the wildcard mask that is 0.0.0.255 .0 and enter and exit. So we permit our LAN network from access list and now the last step is configure the overload command on uplink interface. For that I type IP net inside source list and here we have to give the access list name and keep remember it's case sensitive so I type L capital O C A L local interface 0 slash 0 slash 0 this is our uplink interface and space overload and enter this is overload command and now the most important step is save the setting for that I have to go out from the global config mode and I use command exit and enter and now I will type write and enter. So with the help of write command I save the all configuration into my router memory and that's it. And now it's time to test the configuration. I'm going to connect my LAN switch to router gig 0 slash 0 slash 1 port and connect to PC to LAN switch to verify that we have internet service from our Cisco router. And now here you can see my laptop 1 receive the IP address via DHCP and that is 192.168.100.2 and we can browse the internet successfully and this is my second laptop that is connected to the same LAN switch here I receive the IP address 192.168.100.3 via DHCP and internet is working there also now if I try to ping 100.2 PC from 100.3 I will open the command prompt and type ping 192.168.100.2 and enter and here you can see I can successfully ping from PC2 to PC1 and vice versa also. So in this video we successfully configure the internet router and we create DHCP server and enable the net services on our router successfully. Thank you for watching my video and please don't forget to like and subscribe my youtube channel. Thank you for watching.